Welcome, this is a Casey Tech School video on using Tinkercad circuits to build and measure electric circuits. Well, what is Tinkercad circuits? Well, it's a free online CAD or computer aided design program. It's, it's web based. It's used for 3D design, electronics and coding. And the, the bit we're going to use is called Tinkercad circuits and it's specifically for making electronics. Well, how might it be useful? Well, if we look at this little video on the left, we can see a real circuit being built using a nine volt battery, a resistor, which is that little component with colored bands on it, which is to limit current going to an, an, LED, an orange LED. And we're using a real multimeter to measure the voltage across the LED in this case. If we look on the right, this is the same circuit being built using Tinkercad circuits. We've connected up a nine volt battery, we've kept connected up a resistor and an LED, and we've connected up a multimeter. And we can use a simulation to turn that multimeter on and measure the voltage across that LED. Well, how do we get Tinkercad or get access to it? Well, it runs in a web browser. However, we first need to create a free account. So the Tinkercad web page or access point is listed as you can see. So you'll need a browser and type that in. When you get the Tinkercad opening page, you'll see a join now button in white on the right. If you click that, it'll ask you, well, how do you want to use Tinkercad? If you're part of a school group, your teacher might have already made their own Tinkercad account and they might invite you as a student to join it. However, it might be easier if you create your own personal account from home. So if you press create a personal account, you'll get another window asking you, well, how do you want to sign up for Tinkercad? You can either use your email or you can sign in with your Google account. I'll let you decide how you want to do that. So I've opened up Tinkercad and it shows my account details. So we're going to choose circuits. You won't have any circuits yet in Tinkercad, but because I've already built some, you can see some simple circuits I've built and that have been saved automatically into the cloud for me to access at any time and from anywhere, as long as I can log in. Okay, so we're going to create a new circuit by clicking the Create New Circuit button. It will take a few seconds and it's opened up a new circuit with a blank canvas. As you can see up here on the left though, it's given it an, a randomly generated name, in this case, Incredible Garus Alice. Click that and change it to something that makes a bit more sense to you. I'm gonna call it Simple LED and Resistor Circuit. And click. It'll take a few seconds again to go off to the cloud and change it to the name that we've given it. We can see on our right here, we have some libraries of components and there's basic components. As you can see, you can scroll down, there's quite a few. There's even a large library called all. And if I scroll down again, you can see even more components being added. Probably best to start in basic. So I'll go back to basic. The button to the right of that is a toggle button, which gives us more information if we need, need be to, to understand what the component does. So if I click that, look at this resistor it gives us a definition of what a resistor does in this case to restrict the flow of electricity in a circuit reducing voltage and current as a result so that's a really good way of seeing what components there are and how they might be used let's toggle back though to just the the named description okay i'm going to drag a resistor in and a resistor it limits current going to other components and you can see here there are some options. We could change the name, but I'm not going to in this case. We can change the amount of resistance in ohms. Uh, one kilo ohm is good. I think I might change that to a fairly common ohmage in a simple LED circuit. In this case, about 470 ohms. I'm going to bring in an LED, just left click, drag across again. And a red one, we could choose different colors. I'm going to keep the default, which is a red. If I hover across the legs of the LED with my mouse, though, you can see it's got anode, which is the positive side, and cathode, which is the negative side. So LEDs, like batteries, are polarized. They have a positive and a negative, which need to be connected up the right way. So in this case, if I click on that, I'm just going to go across to the left and rotate it into a position I want it to be. 
like so, and then drag it up again and place it beneath the resistor. Okay, I'm going to connect the two. If I hover across the resistor terminal, you can see it doesn't mention cathode or anode. It's not polarized. It doesn't matter which way we connect it. So I'm going to just click that, drag down until I hit the anode of the LED, and then release. And that's connected a wire there. And the default, if I click it again, color is green. We have different colors. Um, when I connect up a battery in a few moments, so I'm going to change that to red and black from the battery because red batteries have red wires for the positive side and black wires for the negative side. And it's good to keep it standard, but we can leave that particular wire green. Okay, so now let's look for a battery. There's a few battery options. If I drag in a 9 volt battery, which we're going to use, I can pop it in there like that. I could also use um, AA batteries, and you can see you can actually connect more batteries in to make it a bigger battery pack like so. I don't want that. So if there's a component you don't want, just click on it and either hit delete on the keyboard or hit the delete function, little rubbish bin over here to get rid of it. We can always bring it in again later. Okay, I'm going to rotate this nine volt battery to the configuration I want. I just place it near the circuits and then click out of that. We're going to grab the positive side of the nine volt battery Hover over it with our mouse, left click it, drag across to the top of the resistor, release. It's made another wire. In this case, I'm going to change that wire because it's the positive side of the battery to red. And then if I click on double click on different points in that wire, I can create bend points to move things around. Even move that battery away a bit. Double click somewhere else in that wire and create another bend point and move it around like so. Now I'm going to go to the negative side of the battery, hover across that, click it, drag across to the cathode or the negative side of the LED and release, creating another wire. This time I'm going to turn it black to designate it's the negative side of the circuit. Create some more bend points, bring those down, create another bend point here, bring that down. And if I want, I can sort of move the whole wire up and down like so. All right, so we're, there we have our basic circuit. If I click out of the wire, if I hit start simulation, it will come up and it will light the LED, showing that the circuit's working. I'll just stop that for the tick. Actually, I'll leave it running. If I was to make a smaller resistor, in theory, if I had a smaller resistance, it would allow more current through, which may not be beneficial for the LED. Let's make it 330 ohms, which is a standard resistor size, and click that. You can see a little exclamation mark has come up now, and it's saying to us the current for the LED is 20.9 milliamps, or 21 thousandths of an amp, and the recommended maximum value is 20 amps. So we're giving it a little bit too much, and it's trying to tell us so. Let's put it back to 470, which was a good value. You don't need to know these values at this point. This is really just showing you how we can use um, Tinkercad to build simple circuits and measure them. Okay, so now I can see the exclamation mark's gone. It's still lighting the LED quite safely. We're going to stop that simulation. Now we're going to look for a multimeter. And here's one here. We're going to drag that in. And it too has got a negative side and a positive side. So we're going to connect this across and measure the voltage of that LED. In this case, we're going to connect the positive side across the positive side of the LED, like so. Release it. I'm going to change that color again because multimeters have red wires for the positive terminal. Good practice to create a bend point. The negative side, I'm going to do the same across the cathode of the negative side of the LED. <coughs> change that to be black wire for denoting the minus side or the negative side. Create a couple of bend points to make it look a bit cleaner. Okay, now if I start the simulation, it's now measuring the voltage across that LED. And when we measure voltages in a circuit, we have to measure the potential difference of the voltage across a component. Well, that concludes the building of this simple circuit. Really, the aim of this video was to build a circuit using Tinkercad to look at some of the Tinkercad functionality and also how we can use a virtual multimeter 
to measure some of the electricity in a simple circuit. We could have extended this a bit more by connecting another voltmeter across the resistor in the same circuit and also connecting up another multimeter in the ammeter function to measure the current in the circuit.